All right, our final award recipient is a fashion pioneer. She, just the moment she walked in, I was like, who is that girl? She is gorgeous. She's Coco Roca. So over the last 15 years, Coco Roca has had a dream career in modeling. She has walked the runway for every major designer and shot covers, editorials, and campaigns for the world's most influential magazines, brands, and photographers. Named Model of the Year by both Elle Magazine and Mary Claire, she was also honored as one of the top 30 models of the decade by French Vogue. Despite her many accolades, Coco has always lived by the truth that success does not need to come at the cost of sacrificing core values and individuality. As one of the early adopters of social media and fashion, Coco's presence on social media has gained her over 17 million followers worldwide. In 2013, Time Magazine named Coco's Twitter account one of the 140 best Twitter feeds. Using her considerable platform, Coco claimed her voice as a force of good and was instrumental in the passage of news laws, protecting underage models in New York and promoting body positivity. With a passion for educating younger models, Coco famously guest mentored models of America's Next Top Model and starred in the television series The Face alongside Naomi Campbell. Though she was the youngest coach on the interactive competition show, Coco and her team had the overwhelming support of the public, commanding a staggering 70% of the popular vote. Coco also memorably mentored Kendall and Kylie Jenner on the show Keeping Up with the Kardashians and has privately taught many more of today's biggest modeling stars their skills in front of the camera and in establishing their personal branding. Please join us in congratulating Coco Roca, Coco Roca our fashion pioneer. Thank you. Like everyone else, I'm amazed I'm here with you guys, and I have no clue why I went last, because now I have to talk. <laughs> I just uh, talked, I was like, wow. wow. Yes, for sure, but thank you. Um, um, thank you guys, first of all, for just being you, for everything that you've accomplished. Um, if it be small to you, big to others. Um, really, I, I'm like, again, when I got the phone call saying we want to give you an award, I was like, are you sure it's the right Coco? <laughs> um, so I do have a little speech here. Forgive me. I saw everyone beautifully speak, um, uh, but I really wanted to make sure what I said comes from the heart and it has been written here. So um, I'm so excited to be here also with my two kids. My youngest is a little too small here, but this is Ioni. That's Ivor. Hi, guys. Ioni told me, I, when I said I'm getting an award, she was like, an Oscar? I was like, no, girl. <laughs> and then she went on to say, I'm not impressed. <laughs> Touche. Um, no, she's a good girl. Um, so I'm so happy that the focus this year was uh, on disruptive technology. I got my start in uh, modeling 20 years ago, which is insane to me. And that was a time where uh, our photographers only worked with film and Polaroids. I remember Carl Lagerfeld telling me that he wanted me to go buy a fax machine because he would not buy a new thing called a cell phone. Um, uh, so yes, it was a very different time. Um, unfortunately, it was also an era where models like myself were often treated as more like a glorified coat hanger um, and not one that was allowed to use their voice. And as a young teen, despite some powerful naysayers, I was an early adopter of the disruptive technology back then, social media. Um, I was considered the first model to, in fact, use this new platform at a time where models were to be untouchable, sort of this fantasy world. I started to use this new thing called a blog and just discuss the ins and outs of what modeling really was about. Um, and of course, some people told me by doing that, I would ruin my career and that I should stop talking stop using my voice, and to continue to take the pretty pictures. I quickly realized I had built both an audience and a megaphone that I could use to call out injustice and reshape my place in the industry, from going on to changing laws for underage models that was discussed, to discussing that models had rights, that they could speak, that they could also just have a career that they so wished, that it wasn't someone that was going to tell them how to do it, but they would do it the way they wanted. 
The disruptive technology of our day is what we discussed. I heard the beautiful uh, discussion earlier of crypto and Web3. I'm still learning it, but I truly believe there is something there. And once again, we're at those crossroads. People that want to uh, keep the status quo, who are either scoffing or scratching their heads at this, and the other end of the spectrum, there are those who are shaping it, or like myself, investing in it. And surrounding myself around those who are not short-sighted. There's a little shout out here. Where's my Barbara? There she is. Barbara Jones, CEO of Out, uh, Outshine Talents, who is the most forward-thinking agent besides one right here. Um, uh, and woman and just beautiful human being. I know this is all about women, but I have an amazing husband who literally has seen the possible in the impossible, or at least been told it's impossible, and he'll go out there and get it done. And of course, my amazing little babies who think that I can do anything, and because of that, I feel like I can. Um, one thing more I would like to just add before I go is that for us to continue to celebrate uh, women entrepreneurs, we need to call for and empower more women mentors. Um, when ma, uh, women truly support one another, amazing things happen. I think we all can agree. I'm hoping that this award makes it to my, you know, Wikipedia page. Yeah. Uh, but of the things I'm most proud of in my career is being able to say that I've mentored 3,000 women uh, as models. Yes, I know some people wonder, do you just do runway and pose class? For sure, for sure. Uh, but I also am there to teach and inform these women that they have power in their photos, but in their voices, in discussing the day in, day out of business, their rights as women. Um, I think that sometimes people glamorize what it is to be a model, uh, not realizing that the model has the right to tell the story. And so if I so wish to use my body the way I want, it tells the next generation they have those rights as well. And so I've been so proud to be able to touch at least 3,000 models, if not more, with my knowledge. And when you mentor another woman, there's an exponential effect to that ripple of women uplifting, mentoring, educating other women, and on and on. And it makes me real happy to hopefully see that in the next two decades in my career, because it is keep going, okay? Yeah.